Hey guys, it's Monster Mendez. This is my first video with a webcam, and I decided that I should bring in a whole new video game into a series. But this game is very short, so let's hit. <laughs> let's hop right into it. Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, what do you mean it's time for bed? Sleep. It's only like. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Eight o'clock ish. Alright. What do you want to hear? Something. something about an adventure. adventure. Calls. Hmm. Ring, ring. Hello, adventure. I think I know just the thing. Must when have been I was a wrong your age. Oh, I'll stop talking. My biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. I'm just acting out what the subtitles are saying. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived. All right, with so we've right clicked to zoom. Mother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see see if Fred was tomorrow from his I have last for adventure. a adventurous journey. See you soon, Fred. There he is, Uncle Fred. Yes, Uncle Frederick, look at that. Do not forget. Turn off the turbine, oven, reactor, and lights. Some weird glitches going on, my friends. Whoa, look at that. You can go scuba diving. Daddy's helmet. Bioshock reference, maybe. Okay, let's move on. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Hmm. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. The Galapagos. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. That's weird. The voice acting's pretty great, I have to say. If this guy could narrate my life, that'd be perfect. I can't tell if that's more scuba gear or... Fantastic Frederick's disposal system. Where does it all go? Aha. Uh -huh. Light bulbs, of course. Some literature. Ooh. Snow uh, do we live in the Arctic or something? I believe we do. Ooh. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times. But in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. What? It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Perfect size for us. Let's put it Curiosity on. Curiosity got the better of me. Try and it I on. tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for because me. Because it was. Ooh, cool glove. All right. And we keep the walking. Most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. Uncle Fred had warned me not to touch any of his things, but, as I said, I was a curious child. Should we pull the lever? We should pull the lever. Starting initially using blah blah blah, finding target, found target, opening dome. What? Okay, are we going into like outer space or are we warping somewhere or... Oh shoot, what's going on? Ooh, that was a cool title sequence. I like that. That was fun. That was... I like the little music. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Where are we? I landed with a crash, but thanks to the suit, I wasn't hurt. I had no idea where the pad had taken me, but back then, I didn't care so much about where I was going or how I would get home. Let's keep moving forward. Hold shift to run. And we're running. Your progress has been saved. Yes. 
Oh, okay. We keep going. This. The suit. Whoa! Press and hold crowd, space to jump. Wide. I kind of figured it out before I it told me. This thing on. Best be careful. Whoa! The gravity here is like a quarter of normal gravity, if that. <laughs> All right. This is so cool. Hold the right click button to charge up the suit and release a power jump. Oh, cool. I was sure that someone had been here before. And someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who? Where were they now? Okay, power jump. Charge out the suit and release while sprinting to power leap. Oh, that was so gnarly. I found a strange gizmo. Some sort of measuring tool that Fred must have built. Whoa, I jumped pretty high. Oh. Though, so I took the results to give to Fred. All right, here we go. Yes, we have landed. I don't need to power jump for this fool. All right, here we go. Where do I go next is the question. All right, let's just jump onto this flying floaty pad island majig. Yes, that's what we're going to call it. The flying floaty pad majig. Oh, and I probably should have power leaped. Uh, too far, too far, too far. We made it. All right. This is a checkpoint, I suppose. Or it's just telling me which way to go. The grapple Power device is now charged. Activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my own. Oh, that's so cool! Grappling power. Running this way. You will light up when the area and the grappling hook is in range. Oh, okay. My glove will light up. A uh, power jump. There we go. On regular junks only. Left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave, and I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. This has got to be the place Fred went to. That looks like a Naruto symbol. Flying forward. Haha. -ha. I think I'm getting the hang of this. That eyebrow thing, though. I keep, you know, I think. Okay, here we go. I can latch on to that. Can't latch on. And we got it. This is really cool. This is really cool if like if everyone could travel this way oh my goodness it'd be so amazing combine power jump and grapple to reach higher places aha yes yes we're moving forward combine power leap and grapple to reach far off places the adventure suit was fantastic ha -ha. combining a power leap with a grapple I could fly long distances through the air at great speed. And... Whew, almost missed it, but I did it. That's what counts. Okay. So far, it's just this mysterious island. Haha. <laughs> when grappling a moving object, you will follow along. I see. Yeah, too far. Much too far for me to reach. Ha 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 ha. I think I dropped down here. Oh! It's so scary. It's just like, ah! It just want. If you tilt a little bit to the other side, then, you know, you're dead. Alright. Power leap. And that wasn't really the most powerful of power leaps. Come on, come on! Ah! Ah, oh, too late. Okay. It's enough swing power to 
knock me off this rock, but it didn't, so we're good. What is that? A little... Ooh, a little light bar. I can... I can latch on to that. Haha. <laughs> I suppose I'm supposed to jump onto that. Does that get any closer to me whatsoever? I think... I'm supposed to do this... Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Yes, I do do that. I do do do. And get ready for it. Run and jump in three, two, one. Where are we going, giant rock? That's where we're going. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. And we've made it! Like a glove. Like a glove. You found a second power core. You can now grapple two times before landing. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> yes. Yes, I've made it. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I wish more games had movement like this. Hmm. These blue lights. Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else? Well, it seems I can't run. I need some peaceful music playing right now. Ooh. <gasps> ah. Is that a village I see? Hello, who are you? Who are you? You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your How face. How do you know Fred? <laughs> she knew Fred. Duh. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. I, I'd known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. Why? I don't know why, really. But you can call me Maddie. Okay, Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? No. Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there. I couldn't believe it. An underground village inhabited by... Frog people, frog people or more like salamanders either way they, they walked like humans they talked like humans how is that possible what can i latch onto nothing i am dead where's the where's the square where's the village square i have no idea where i'm going Ha! Ooh, almost didn't get it that time. Okay. Man, just everything's so beautiful. Listen to the music. I'm pretty sure I made it to the village square. I'm pretty sure I made it to the village. Who's saying hey? Oh, hey, you. You, hey? Hey! Hey, Maddie. Hi. Welcome to my village. This is the town square, and that over there is Fred's tent. Where? I haven't seen him in a few days, though. Maybe our elder Samuel knows where he is. He knows a lot of stuff. Mostly boring stuff, if you ask me. But it's worth a try. Before asking him, though, you should check out the village. It's not so bad. Unless you have to stay for too long. When you're done, go to the island with the windmill, and you'll see Samuel's cove from there. I'll go on ahead and tell him that you're coming. He's not much for surprises. Later. This girl is so depressing. I thanked Madeline and agreed to meet her later. Thank you. It was strange. How could I talk to someone who was not even human and still feel like it was perfectly normal? It's because she's nice. Okay, so this is the latest checkpoint, as anyone should assume, because of common sense. Hope you guys like this video. Hope you can still see my face in this video. And I'll see you guys next time.